Well, I mean, uh, Fred Meyer, the one in Palmer, it's actually now the largest Fred Meyer in Alaska because it serves all the bush people from the east and the north uh, off the Glen Highway. I had to get some hydrocortisone. Oh, yeah, and Fred Meyer is a branch of, like, Kroger. So you find Kroger goods in here. I was going to kind of show the prices. Yeah, and good thing is they sell Carhartt. You don't get any of the cheap clothes like you... Oh, they finally got baby wipes. The kind I use. Oh, they've been out. Well... Anyway... Yeah, and these are... See, it's not that much higher. That's about what they are down south. But now your produce, oh my god. That's a different story now. And they can get produce up here in almost the same time that they can get it in Seattle or LA. Like for your bananas and watermelons. But yeah, I'm heading that way. Yeah, you can get good clothes here get anything at this Fred Meyer and they have all Kroger brand too yeah. boy I can see about 12 foot and I know those are the signs up there that tell you where to find stuff but I can't see to read them so usually I end up having to ask And this one's even more crowded than the ones in Anchorage. There's five Fred Meyer in Anchorage. Now you can... Now you get them three ninety nine down south. That's nine bucks a pound. Uh, yeah. Or is she no? No, it's the whole thing, I think. Yeah, usually they're like 89 cents a pound. Well, I can't find my way out. Yeah, a lady yesterday showed me where my microphone is for my camera. It's not the microphone where you talk into when you're on the phone. I'm trying to do this with two fingers.
shopper's card and your total is 595. System processing. Swipe or insert card and follow instructions on pin pad. Hang on. Hang on. Boy, I like to get out of there. Damn, I hate it inside stores. Sometimes I have people go in and get what I need. I just can't go in that, that many people. Yeah, this Fred Meyer is about two and a half. Maybe, maybe just a little younger, two years old. Yeah, so I, I put a strip of tape over that microphone that other strip of tape i put on was in the wrong microphone yeah there's lazy mountain and then that's the wasatch and then mount, mount pioneer peak I'll show you a camping place that I camped for about four years in a row when I'd come up. Man, I couldn't even hardly sleep last night. My hands were itching so bad from the mosquito bites. Mm. Yeah, I met a guy uh, holding a cardboard sign out here yesterday. He seemed like he was pretty intact, had a head on his shoulders. He didn't act like he was on meth. Yeah, it used to be real bad here in the valley with pills. Every time you watch state, Alaska State Troopers show, they had Palmer in here. Now, last time I was here, uh, that railroad bull that issued the warrant for my arrest, for making them videos of the Alaska Railroad, he, uh, uh, I had made a video in Wasilla and posted it that evening, and he contacted the Wasilla Police Department and gave them my picture and said, be on the lookout for this guy, and I was at Palmer, or, I mean, Wasilla Wash and Dry laundromat, just finished washing my dang clothes, and I was sitting around back, and a cop pulled it up. He says, you're pretty famous. And I knew right then what it was. He goes, yeah, you got a warrant for trespass. I might have to take you in. He was cool, though. Took me down to uh, Palmer uh, pre-trial pre facility, which is um, maybe a mile from here. Uh, spent uh nine days in jail there and then they sent sent me to anchorage in a van to go to court and that was that hell i can't even yeah i've camped back here a few summers in a row i'm gonna shift that manhole cover yeah they got one on it now 
used to not be one on it. You could just fall in. It's about eight foot down. I've probably camped back here more than anywhere in Alaska. But as time went on, more of these trails came around. That I felt kind of crowded out. And I've gone up there and back. Well, I remember one night I slept back there. I heard this woman screaming. I mean, like, ah, help! Oh, man, talk about your domestic violence out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, checked the newspaper for a couple of days in a row after that and didn't hear about anybody being missing. I ain't ever went back there. Hey, it was close, too. Yeah, the old Fred Meyer's a U-Haul uh, place now. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, used to up here, you didn't find anybody having to hold a sign for money and food. I'm surprised there's not anybody out here today. I mean, you'd see it in Anchorage, but they kind of made a city ordinance against it. Yeah, this used to be the car Safeway, right where this Fred Meyer is now, and there was a Salvation Army thrift store next to it. But Safeway moved out. They tore everything down and started from scratch for the new Fred Meyer and moved the car Safeway across from McDonald's over there. Yeah, I went ahead and splurged and got a $79 room and they got a 24-hour restaurant cafe inside. My God, the coffee's good. Uh, wait till you see inside of it. They got a bunch of G-scale Alaska Railroad engines and cars. If I can hold your attention that long. Every time I come up on an intersection like this, I get that feeling, that PTSD, like I want to swallow air like because <laughs> now when I push the walk signal button I still can't see the walk guy on the other in, in the signal some cities you go to it'll go when it's your turn to walk but I don't understand if it's this walk or the other way yeah, I, I, I let a bunch of mosquitoes out. Yeah, this building right here used to be the old Fred Meyer. They didn't do nothing to it when they moved out. U-Haul just moved in maybe a year later. And it's supposed to be the largest U-Haul dealer in Alaska. Because up the Glen Highway here to the east goes to the Canadian border through Glen Allen and Toke. So all your uh, off-grid communities and your bush people come from the east and the north and going south. That goes back towards Anchorage that way. See, I can't even see that little walk sign, but I... I know the traffic rules enough to know it's my turn. Almost two. Yeah, I got this room about, oh, two hours ago, maybe. I tried taking a nap as soon as I got in. I took a shower and got all that Lake Lucille mud and muck off of me. And they got a laundromat. Uh, it's not for public use, but the lady said she'd throw my clothes in after they did all the towels and sheets. So that was cool. She's going to wash my clothes and dry them for free. I hope she didn't think she's got to fold them. Uh, yeah, Palmer, back in the day, used to be a like a trading post between the Canadian people heading into Anchorage. 
But if I get a chance to show y'all out near the fairgrounds, it looks like completely different now. They have put in new roads, new shortcuts to go to the Seward Meridian Highway, which is new, and Trunk Highway is new. They just kind of shortcut links that link Wasilla to the Parks Highway. They call it Parks Highway. There's a gentleman by the name of George Parks. I always thought because it led to Mount McKinley Park that it was called Parks Highway, but if you Google George Parks, matter of fact, I'm going to have to Google it because I forgot who he was. Uh, we're almost to the motel. Yeah, this, this place would be like 300 a, a night uh, this time last year. Yeah, I, I turned on some news as soon as I got in there, and I can't believe all the hatred and stuff that's still going on and overturning the statue of George Washington and burning stuff still. Oh my God. I, I just turned the news off and shut the TV down. Then thought, well, maybe I'll watch TBS. I hope I didn't get lost because nothing looks familiar. Usually I look for landmarks that stand out. Like this building here, it's a combination of a light color and dark. And it looks like a whistle of that dark part. Yeah, I don't know why. I've never had a reaction to mosquitoes like that. Oh my God, I couldn't sleep all night. I was rubbing my hands. I know it's a histamine reaction to the mosquito spit. Oh, God, I am lost. Oh, no, there it is, yeah. Yeah, there's... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, valley. I'll go in and show you my room. Yeah, I laid down for, I don't know, 20 minutes. I was just too excited. And the TV's so small, I really can't hear it anyway. I gotta take my tent out here in the parking lot and my tarp, you know, dry it while we got some sun. <sighs> That's about it for Palmer. I mean, once you get out of this four block radius, there really isn't anything. Oh, this walkway reminds me of that lake dock I almost drowned it. Man, I, I ran my energy out trying to hoist myself up on that dock. That's when I started panicking. Yeah, here's the, I think it's G scale. I uh, got the reflection, can't see it. I think it's a SD70, that locomotive. <laughs> oh, Santa Fe. Now, let's see if I can get my key in there. Actually, the camera's helping. Yep. And that's it. Got a little fridge. So, I'm going to get a good night's rest in this, another shower.